stand in reverence to the power above me. Stand for the underdog whose dream comes true. I stand. All right, uh, Abe Schamberg here with Ma Chief Master Sergeant Ed Schloman, uh, retired Marine. We're sitting in Midtown Manhattan at the wonderful offices of Cohort Productions Inc. And uh, we are going to interview Master Chief Master Sergeant Ed Schloman on an Operation Warrior Shield. And let's introduce you now to the Chief Master Sergeant. Well, thank you so much, Abe, for the opportunity of expressing the concerns that not only I, but many uh, people have regarding the epidemic of suicide uh, in our country. And as we were speaking before, well, first of all, I have a foundation uh, with a wonderful group of people called Operation Warrior Shield .com. And my email, of course, is eshloman at AOL. And you could always Google me and you'll find out more about what and how we've been working uh, to help solve this epidemic. But the most recent study by the VA, matter of fact, the Veterans Administration just did the largest study ever on an analysis of veteran suicide. And guess where they're aiming their direction at? People like me, the Vietnam era. Really? I thought it would be more of Afghanistan and Iraq. Everybody thinks that today, and that's why I'm trying to bring awareness that it was the Vietnam era that the returning troops were really started to look at the concept of post-traumatic stress. And we Marines don't like to use the word disorder, it's post-traumatic stress. But number for years have been 22 veterans a day committing suicide, a day. The recent study found out that out of that 22, the new study shows 20 only veterans committing suicide. Each today. day, every day Each of the year. Each day. As Unbelievable. This, as we speak, there's going to be one. But 45% of that number are over 60 years old. That's why we have to educate the public. I have partnered with a great organization called Stop a Soldier Suicide, and they have a real fabulous program that helps the veteran, once they get out, to be re-energized to the civilian world and their own you know, traumas. But as I said to you before, Abe, the problem is not these youngsters coming out from that study I mentioned. That's, that's alarming. To and me, when they ask me the question, what causes the suicide epidemic? There is not just one cause. I'm trying to get more in involvement with the Vietnam Veterans of America, a great organization. I'm a lifelong member. But uh, I believe they have to do a lot more towards the awareness of mental health among my generation. But let's split this. Let's say my generation and the and generation that you thought was the ones that are committing suicide. We need a program for those coming out and to work with them. We never had that. We were many of those were drafted into the war, not like I. I was already six years as a Marine with a family and everything, which made it even worse to go to the combat zone. The newer generation coming out, we have a program, a Stop Soldier Suicide, to re-enter them into the civilian world now. I, my foundation offers, at no cost, Transcendental Meditation, uh, that non-religious modality that brings calmness and awareness uh, to the brain and therefore all the other great things that meditation does for the individual, we bring that to the military. We're with the Camp Pendleton, the Marine Corps, we're with the USO, which uh, I'm working locally with Fort Hamilton Army Base, which we have a, a great program of transcendental meditation, uh, something of which I started and is being carried on uh, by Operation Warrior Wellness, my latter, uh, organization through that the, I count through the David Lynch Foundation, yeah. right? And great. Now, you the, that count the David Lynch Foundation. You practice meditation. Absolutely. Absolutely. So do I, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I do as well. Well, if you would have told me that seven years ago, I would have closed the door on right. you, and that's one of the reasons why many of the military and veterans are now practicing transcendental meditation because they heard it from a veteran, and uh, you know I do have uh, a great respect 
for those who want to help. And it originally started with Jerry Yellen, my World War II partner, and I who approached uh, Bobby Roth and six years later, we're all over. You have to know how to handle stress. And the military is stress 24 hours a day. That's right. And one of the things you have, which bothers me when I hear about it, is that there's an awful lot of peer pressure, harassment going on by certain ranks of the military against the, uh, the junior ranks. But I've worked with such great organizations like Fort Hamilton Army Recruiting Battalion, uh, we're on an ongoing program training them. Our Future Warriors by Admiral Schneider from the, the uh, Norwich Military Academy. It's part of their curriculum. If you looked at Transcendental Meditation yourself, which I encourage everybody to do, look it up on the line, tm.org, and you'll see all the other benefits that it brings. You know, well, it lowers lower, your blood pressure, lower, lowers your cholesterol calms you down. I mean, it's, Absolutely. it's a better life in general for everybody, yeah. let alone the returning vets. Yeah, but, you know, my concern right now is how do we bridge the problem? As I said to this one uh, doctor who was in charge of mental health, we still don't know why. Well, I'll tell you why. It's, in, it's that wound, that trauma that you experience that laid in there, never dormant, but you hid it and you never brought it out to the public and told people, I have issues, I gotta go for help. They're embarrassed, or so the second effort is that they keep it hidden. Then maybe they're in their middle 60s and they lose their spouse of 40 years. And all of a sudden it triggers it. And then maybe you find out, you know, our bodies change and never for the best. No, but <laughs> not <yeah>. mine. <laughs> but yeah. a cancer may set in and all of these things are a financial issue or you lose a child before you are supposed to go. You're talking about major triggers, but from what I've heard, he has the, you, you've met Dr. Norman Rosenthal, who wrote that book, Transcendence. He's a great friend. He's a, he's a fantastic person. Yeah. I, and I strongly recommend his book, Transcendence, yeah. which speaks about this. It's the small little triggers that sometimes of the returning vets that just, you know, everybody else could just handle it. And TM is great for those small little triggers that don't turn them into big triggers. That's right. And that's why, you know, we continue the programs that work with uh, returning veterans uh, or returning military personnel and veterans. Operation Warrior Shield not only offers transcendental meditation free of charge, but we also provide employment opportunities with some other partners. We also provide uh, to work with the veterans homeless issues. And I'm very happy to say I work very closely with the uh, Department of Veteran Services under Commissioner Laurie Sutton, who's a fabulous leader for the cause. You're talking about the city, New York City? It's New York City, and I got to have to give credit out to the city council under, under council member Earl Rich, who provided the resources to this new organization. And, uh, and like I said, I continue to sit on other boards and to promote TM. And when people start seeing the accomplishments we have had, they start coming over. And we work with the Various TM for veterans in Fairfield, Iowa. Oh, in Fairfield. Wow. Great and, center. Beautiful and, city. And, of course, I had the opportunity to visit the, the Dome. The Dome. And, yes. uh, and have great friends out there, too, Mayor Ed, Ed Malloy. He's great. But... Uh, you know, the point is that... Have you meditated in the dome, that wonderful experience? No, they wouldn't let me in. Why not? It wasn't Too the big. hour. It, was, oh, it wasn't the I hour, yeah. Either that or, oh, I think, or I think Oprah Winfrey had, uh, oh, yeah. had me bounced. <laughs> but okay. you know, a lot of movie stars, and this is where I really reach out yeah. to businesses and successful men like uh, yourself. Oh, thank you. And uh, I, I really want the veterans to understand that there's places out here. I think the best way to get me is my uh, website, uh, operationwarriorshield.com. Email what, what is eshloman at AOL. You want to spell it out? That's E-S-C-H-L-O-E-M-A-N 
at AOL.com. At AOL. How do you, the public, help Operation Warrior Shield with Chief Master Sergeant Ed Shlom in the beginning? They are having a fantastic dinner Wednesday, September 28th this year at the Pier 60 of Chelsea Piers, 6 o'clock for cocktails, and they're honoring Charles Rangel and Gary Yellen and Colonel Jack Jacobs, Captain Anthony Odierno, and the Sergeant Brent Alessandro, who just returned from Afghanistan, hosted by Rita Cosby of CNN and, and Light News, and also keynote by Scarlett Johansson. God bless her. Two beautiful blondes. I'm sure at one time, Ed, you were a beautiful blonde. <laughs> I you, still got most of it. You got the hair, that's for sure. So why don't you let everybody know about the party coming up? Well, the event is very important because it's going to raise the necessary funding for us to continue our efforts. And another point that I really love to make is the fact that we work very closely with first responders. Be by that you mean? Uh, the fire department, the police department, all those who give service. And remember, I, I just loved what was said last night by Mayor Giuliani. It was two nights ago. Two nights but, but, ago. But he said that they said, give their lives for you. They don't care they about your color. When that window yeah. is broken and they start coming they run, out to help they you. They run towards the problem, not away from it. I love that. You're and, right. And they don't right. ask you what color or religion or special it's, it's so true. vocation you have. They're there. And my son is one of yeah. them. So I'm very proud of what my son does. And I want to make sure everyone knows that first responders, many of them, I have trained in transcendental meditation and some great friends from the 9-11 era. The former commissioner, Salvatore Cassano. Yeah, from the fire department. Loved it. Yeah. Very generous have, man. Yep, yeah, he's a great, great American. And you know, I'm proud to say that these are the kind of people I work with. And, you uh, work with one wonderful people. You yeah. yourself are great. We know you for years. And uh, we wish you lots of luck with uh, Operation Warrior Shield. Yeah, and then Thank one you. last note sure. on August 28th in Brooklyn, we're having a day to thank the first responders and veterans for what they do for us. Where is that? It's an open house from 4 to 9 at the Grand Prospect Hall. Oh, the Grand Prospect Hall, Hall. yeah. It's Beer wonderful. Garden. It's a lot of fun. So you'll, you'll be able to see that uh, on my website too. But again... It's in Brooklyn, Grand Prospect Hall, Sunday, August 28th, 4 to 9. Come on out and meet some great people Absolutely. and great people who are there for you. Thank you, Chief Master Sergeant Thank Ed Schlerman. We love to have you. And uh, may this be the first of uh, many videos we can do to help your organization. Right. Thank you very much. Another point of view. I've saved a place in line for Or so it seems I stand for the bold and the daring Who spun out on dead man's curve I stand in lieu of everybody Who deserves to be heard But first I stand for those Whose time was spent 